hallelujah glory to god you are welcome to prophetic intercession with amel it's always a privilege to bring you prophetic messages from the lord hallelujah if this is the first time you're seeing me a special welcome to you thank you so much for stopping by may the lord use this channel to minister to you continuously tell you the mind of god and help you know god better in the mighty name of jesus amen hallelujah glory to god god bless all our subscribers all our first timers especially welcome to you feel at home become a part of this community subscribe and do not forget to like and share god bless you hallelujah they are wondering <clears throat> they are wondering talking about you they are talking about your character and they are wondering they are asking themselves how is it so <clears throat> excuse me what is going on what happened what has changed there is something about you that can they cannot place their hands on anymore because they already had a picture of you you have been that all your life and all of a sudden it seems like they are losing the grip of you since you gave your heart to christ this is not business as usual anymore with everything you are doing it is not business as usual anymore and the people are asking themselves what is happening what is going on they forget to understand that the Bible says in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 17. I'm going to be reading from the Living Bible Translation. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 17. It says, when someone becomes a Christian, he becomes a brand new person inside. He is not the same anymore. A new life has begun. Let me take that all over again. When someone becomes a Christian, he becomes a brand new person inside. He is not the same anymore. A new life has begun. King James Version says that if a man be in Christ, he is a new creation. Behold, all things have gone and everything have, have become new. They cannot comprehend that the old you they used to know is buried and dead. Now the life you live is dead. Is the life of Christ. They cannot understand why your character has changed because God is transforming you. There is a revealing of his glory in your life and you are being changed. And the more you read your Bible, the more you are changing. The Bible says, beholding us in the glass, the glory of the Lord, we are being transformed to that same image. So the more you behold the glory of the Lord, the more you read your Bible, it is it's not business as usual anymore. Things are changing. You are not going to be the same person they used to know. You are changing for the better. And the people who used to partner with you, it may be your partners in crime, your partners in evil, they are looking at you and they are asking themselves, what is happening here? What is going on? But you have been hijacked by the Holy Spirit and your life has taken another turn. That is what happens when you give your life to Christ. When you give your life to Christ, the old is gone. And you begin a new journey. And what actually proves that you have given your heart to Christ is when there is this transformation. If you say you've given your life to Christ and the people that used to know you do not testify of a change. The people that used to know you do not testify of, of a difference. Then I'm not certain you gave your heart to Christ. There must be an acknowledgement that this person has changed. They are not the same person anymore. You cannot keep doing the same things you used to do, especially if they did not glorify God. You cannot continue in that same path. There must be an evidence. There must be a change. There must be a transformation that, that is ongoing in the inside of you. Hallelujah. So it is a good thing. If your people are complaining that you have changed, this is not the person you used to be. Life is not um, regular around you anymore. And maybe you do not seem to fit anymore in their circle. That is it. That is a proof that you are being transformed by the word of God. That is a proof that you are being metamorphosed. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And that is what God expects of every Christian. Hallelujah. You cannot shine a light in a place if you are the same like them. If you are still like them, you cannot affect them. Now your behavior is going to cause a stare among them. Is going to act like a light in darkness. And some of them over time will get to come to Christ because of how you have changed.
But if you remain like them and, you, and you're still claiming that you're giving your heart to Christ, it doesn't make sense. It is not true. There must be a difference. Hallelujah. And you are making that difference proudly. I pray that God shall continually increase you on this journey and that God will increase you even in grace as you set to transform your life and make a difference even in your own society and your own community of friends, in your family as well. In the mighty name of Jesus, may the Lord bless you, keep you, cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace. The shalom of the Lord, nothing missing, nothing broken. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.